We have a shell that escapes the barrel with velocity v. Length of the barrel is n l and it's given that it takes n turns before escaping the barrel. The acceleration is uniform and we need to find the angular velocity of the shell when it escapes. So in the problem we are given the length l, number of turns n and velocity v and we need to find omega when it escapes. So because the acceleration is uniform, we can assume the, because the shell is rolling, not assume actually, if the shell is rolling, the angular acceleration is also uniform. So let's say that is alpha. So we can, because it is uniform, we can write our equation of motion in circular form. And that is final omega square is equal to initial omega square plus two alpha theta. So initially the shell is at rest, so we only get this equation. So this is what we have right now and we have to get the answer in terms of L, N and V. So let's write alpha in form of the linear acceleration. So that is A by R, where R is the radius of the shell. So we can do that assuming that the shell is rolling. Now a is also not given in the problem, so we write a as v square by 2l. So this is again from the equation of motion in linear form by this. v and l are given, so this is resolved. Now radius, radius is not given, but it is given it takes n turns inside. So if it takes one turn, it will cover a distance of 2 pi r. In second turn, it will take cover the distance of 2 times 2 pi r. So if it, it has turned n times, then it has covered a distance of 2 pi r into n. And that is the length of the barrel. So now r is, so from this equation, we can write r in terms of l and n, which are given. Now let's come to theta. So again, we'll make use of the number of turns. So it has taken the n number of turns. So angle theta turned by that shell is simply n into 2 pi. So now you can see that all these terms are given. So we'll just substitute these values and simplify and get omega. It's equal to 2 pi nv by L, our answer.